I want to give you some insights about fly wool fly lens 75 frame because it's awesome frame I'm only a beginner I crash like 10 times with one battery and it holds up superb I haven't changed the frame once it's as I received the stock and it's still uh, holding on greatly there are only some minor scars on propellers but despite that it holds up the abuse nicely so I highly recommend even for beginners but now let's go to the point I use my fly lens with the wax nail system and if you will consider also to do that to go this way note that there is difference between these small wax nail cameras for this frame you might consider choosing mini 1s kit or nano v3 kit and note that cameras are different and not only in a picture but they are actually different you see this one is much thinner and this is very important because this frame designed to hold the camera has screw holes so close the back side that you cannot screw in this camera to make it fit I had to bore out the holes I'm now able to screw the camera in place but it's so backed up to this uh, frame I cannot give any up tilt and uh, with nano v3 camera the situation is different because it's thinner the back plate is smaller and it actually fits nicer and when screwed in I can give some up tilt I cannot I'm not able to check but there might be a different solution to this problem and it's to choose frame not not 18 millimeters like this one this one is 18 millimeters wide uh, this space and uh, it still requires spacers between frame and camera but counterintuitively you can choose frame designed for 20 millimeters and judging from this render you should receive a different kind of camera frame which gives you more mounting options and maybe with this uh, frame you can use both of these cameras Voxnail also gives you this 19 millimeter adapter for these small cameras so yeah definitely go with the 20 millimeter option on a frame but overall great frame works perfectly with the wax nail I love it.